Cooper CPAs, located in the heart of East Nashville, offer a wide variety of tax services for individuals and businesses. Contact them at 615-257-0646 and visit their website, allcooper.com, for a full list of services. Hey everyone, welcome to Music Business Daily. Today is Monday, Woo! April 22nd. <laughs> And today we have Selena Gomez, Madonna, Adele, and much more. So we'll be right back with you after a word from our sponsors. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Welcome back, guys. I'm Jillian. And I'm Hannah. First up today, we have Madonna. Her 16-year-old daughter has started dating. Oh, dear. Yep. Her daughter, <laughs> Lord is dating Homeland actor Timothy Sh Chalamet. Chalamet? I don't know. Don't ask Pronunciation? me. Pronunciation? Don't really know. I'm but it's fine. But the story is that, but yeah, so Madonna has always been like a strict mom um, mm -hmm. with her kids. She makes them clean up after her, themselves. You know, they have to do their homework. <laughs> yeah. And so now her 16-year-old is dating, and she is not that excited. Um, they've Her daughter has been dating this guy maybe about six months, and they seem to be getting a little more serious. So mom. Oh, my gosh. She's so young. Yeah. I mean, uh, she's like, I just want to slow down the relationship yeah. and nerve-wracking. So you Understandable. Know. I think it's nerve-wracking for any parent when their child starts dating. Yeah. You know, especially when their child is dating a star, mm -hmm. you know, or even just a performer in general. Because, let's face it, performers are a whole different breed of people. Exactly. So. And, and then the relationship is also in the spotlight by the media. So yeah. So it's just... There's more pressure there already. Yeah. Knowing they're watching your every move, mm -hmm. I would be okay with the media not following me around <laughs> with all of my relationships because that would be really scary. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, next up, another parenting story for you today. Yay. Jennifer Hudson's three-year-old little son apparently was playing and fell down and broke his leg. Aww. And being three, he doesn't fully understand what that means, so he's concerned that he won't be able to walk anymore which is really adorable and sad at the same time. But, you know, it just goes to show, like, kids have accidents, even yeah. celebrities' kids, and hopefully he gets well soon. But, yeah. I mean, one of the things he said to his mom, he was like, Mommy, what's going to happen to my bad leg? Will I be able to wrestle again? Can I ride my bike? Is that not so cute? That is really I'm just cute. I'm picturing this adorable little three-year-old. Poor just little thing. Asking you if he can walk around after he breaks his leg. But I mean, yeah. that's pretty common for kids that age, especially. I remember my little brother broke his leg jumping on a trampoline when he was like three. Yeah. So it's just it happens. Yeah. Little kids get hurt. Yep. And luckily he's young, so he'll heal fast, and he should hopefully be okay if he has yeah. some good doctors, which I'm sure he does. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, next up, so a lot of people have been asking Adele if she will write a memoir with them, a lot of publishing houses and various authors. And, you know, she's only 24 years old. She's accomplished a lot for a 24-year-old. Um, she has an Oscar, nine Grammys. Um, but sh her response to them is, you know, I want to wait to write a biography until I'm older and I have even more accomplished under my belt. So she's, you know, looking to her future rather yeah. than her past. But she's turned down, like, a very large sum of money to do a memoir, which is Jeez. pretty cool. So clearly she's, you know, not ready for it yet. Yeah. She, she's like, don't make me older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> which is great. I mean, yeah. she's sticking to what she believes. And mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't want to be writing a memoir at her age. It's like, are you trying to kill me off fast? Like, isn't that something you're supposed to write when you're like way further along in your life and your yes. career? Like, I feel like she hasn't even hit the peak of her career. Like, no. she's still just starting. Exactly. So she's just gotten a really good start. Yeah. Um, well, next up, Everyone knows Dead Mouse, the DJ, mm -hmm. and then also Kat Von D are engaged, and people have been really wondering, like, what's your wedding going to be like? I mean, these two very unique people, like Dead Mouse is known for wearing a mouse head mm -hmm. at his shows, and Kat Von D is this amazing tattoo artist. Well, recently they have said that they are actually going to be having an underwater-themed wedding, and okay. they have said that it is going to be far from traditional. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly what that less. means. Um, pretty sure they're going to have like mermaid performers and like blue and green type foods and okay. I feel like that'll definitely be a wedding to look up 
you know, yeah. the next day, because I'm sure we're not all going to get invitations. I mean, I got mine in the mail yesterday, but uh, I don't know. Jealous. Some people be probably won't. One? Um, yeah, of course. Totally. Yes. It can be my plus one. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so that's definitely a wedding to keep an eye on. I'm sure uh, yeah. it's going to be very entertaining. Hopefully and it can unique. inspire lots of summer weddings. Um, <laughs> our next story is pretty awesome. So Vanderbilt Children's Hospital patients, little kids, um, have been doing a um, music therapy program in which they express their feelings and emotions through writing music. Mm -hmm. Well, recently, celebrities have taken the songs that those patients have written and they've recorded them. Um, these celebrities include Amy Grant, Vince Gill, Phil Vassar, Allison Krauss, and Faith Hill. They all took these songs that the kids did and professionally recorded them themselves. And I just think wow. that that's awesome because, you know, obviously these kids have poured their heart into it. Um, yeah. You know, every single one of them, if you're in the children's hospital, you're not in a good situation. So I think it's awesome that the celebrities took this and are making the kids feel important and that the work that they did matters. So Yeah, I think that's really cool. wonderful. And yeah. how exciting if you're that kid that they've decided to write, yeah. you know, not write the song. You're the kid that wrote the song and these celebrities have decided to record it. Yep. And I'm sure they're giving, you know, these kids the recordings. Well, of it's these songs. actually that it's going to be a new CD called Everybody Has a Story and this CD Aww. is going to be going on sale May 14th. Well, so, everyone go out and get your CD. Yep, it's, again, 14th. it's called Everybody Has a Story, being released Aww. on May 14th. I'm excited to hear that. I'm sure those are going to be some very touching songs, probably yeah. some cute things because they're written by kids, mm -hmm. you know, and kids do say the darndest things. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know my niece and nephew say the cutest things now that they're talking more, uh, which is really cute. Um, so... On a sweet kind of finishing note, just to remind us that even celebrities have the people that are celebrities that make them nervous. <laughs> uh, Selena Gomez recently got to meet Brad Pitt for the first time. Ooh. He actually was going around backstage after mm -hmm. her show. He wanted to meet her and get his picture with her because his kids are huge fans of her show, Wizards of Waverly Place. Mm -hmm. So he, you know, had someone knock on her dressing room and he was able to go in and meet her and she was so <laughs> nervous meeting him that uh, after he left, they never got to snap the picture because yeah. she was really nervous and just completely forgot. After he left, she actually hid underneath the table oh for a couple God. minutes just to like regain her composure um, and hysterical yeah one of the things she said was she said he is very pretty um I which, wouldn't, I can I really mean, let's imagine. face it he's a good looking guy he's yeah. a great actor so <laughs> yeah I can imagine anyone especially you know a girl her age no matter how famous oh, yeah. you get you would still be nervous meeting someone that you have literally watched growing up on yeah. the screen um, so I just thought that was a sweet oh, little yeah. I love note that. to finish on. <laughs> it's awesome. Guys, even Selena Gomez gets nervous around guys, so yeah. it's okay. There's hope for all of us yet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you. <laughs> that is all that we have for you today, so we will see you back here tomorrow. <laughs> Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city.